Brought to you by Aspirus Kiwana. Congratulations, Coach. What a great performance. I thought three good periods of hockey by the Huskies. Well, I, I thought we uh, we played a good game tonight. We did a lot of things, little things better maybe than we did last night. Being on the right side of the puck, I thought we uh, competed harder, uh, won a lot, of, lot more battles on the board, and uh, finally hit the net. You know, you, you got to hit the net to score. But uh, I thought our power play looked good, moved the puck real well, and our, our penalty killing, other than that first goal, uh, I thought we did a real good job. You know, and, and that's a sign of a good team. Is even late in the game, we had to kill that penalty there, and um, you know, holding a one goal lead, and, and they did a great job. So, uh, just a, I, I thought a total team effort tonight. Uh, you, when you go through the lineup, and you know, he played well, he played well, he played well usually going to end up on the right side. And they're a good team. They're, they're a real good team. Like I said, they played in the NCAA tournament last year. They're you know right in there again this year, and, and they're going to win a lot of hockey games. So uh, And I think they were the sixth team in the country, fifth team defensively. So to come in here and uh, put a four spot up on them and, and get a big win on the road uh, is good. And, and I like this team. You know, everybody's talking about all the goal scoring in the last couple games and that, you know. <laughs> like I said, I'm bullish on this team, Dirk. You're not going to win every game, and some nights you're going to have some struggles, but you have to stay with it and stick to the game plan. And uh, this will help our team going into next weekend. It should give us a little more confidence. You brought up in the pregame tonight uh, how we were trying to force things too much sure. last night in the last couple of games maybe even. And, boy, did that change tonight. We didn't have to chase the puck. The puck came to us. We did, and, that, and that's one of the things. We just sort of stayed back. You notice tonight our defense are maybe not up in the play as much or uh, some of the turnovers we had last night. We cut down on those, and that's that's so important. And sometimes, you know, when you get behind or you're struggling, you, like I said, you want to chase the game. You want to push, the, and you, you can't, and that's when you start making mistakes and get out of position. I thought we did a much better job tonight. A couple of guys that really stood out for me, Coach. Obviously, Smith had a great game. What a yeah. great feed to Jackson on that first goal. Uh, no question. And, and Alex, is, we, we talked about him. We were considering taking him out of the lineup tonight just because uh, he, he, I don't want to say he's gone stale a little bit, but, you know, sometimes you get complacent, you know, and, and you're playing and everything seems fine and team's doing, you know, fine. But fine isn't good enough. And, and that's one thing that we have to make sure that we get out of this team. And we haven't had many days where we've been complacent or a lot of guys so but we were considering taking him out so it's good to see him respond and play hard and you know I told him you, you know you played in Flin Flon Manitoba <laughs> you know and I heard all these things from all my buddies back in Flin Flon about how tough this kid and how competitive this kid and then I had to remind him you know Smitty you know you're a Flin Flon kid I mean you got to play hard and get your hands dirty that that's what Flin Flon people do so good for him. Gavin Gould you know it was tough to pick stars tonight I thought uh, yeah. He really had another uh, breakout game. After struggling a little bit at the uh, Great Lakes Invitation, I thought he really played well tonight. Well, you got to remember, you know, you take that break and you're not sure how much ice time some of these uh, young men get when they when they take that 10 days off. Some guys get a lot of ice time, some don't. So I, I think Gavin, you know, shook off the rust, but good for him. He, he was held out of some games, and it's good to see him play in a, in a tough environment against a good team when you see Smith and Gould and some of your freshmen and even Beretta tonight, I thought, played well. So And without Baltus and without Stamina, Oh, Mitch Renke, you know, Chris Gary, you know, we got some pretty good hockey players that didn't play in this game tonight, and our guy stepped up and did a hell of a job. Can I, say, can I say hell of a job? You can as many times heck as of you a want. Job. Excuse me. And I thought uh, you were pressing about getting guys in front of the net and really getting to those dirty areas, and we yeah. seem to have a lot of commotion in front of their goaltender Well, we tonight. did, and we had some other good opportunities we didn't score on. Right. I mean, uh, I don't know how Mike Neville didn't put that one in the second period. Yeah. You know, he had the goalie out and, you know, came from the goal line around. He just couldn't, just a little more patience or poise there, but... You know, overall, you've got to be real pleased with this win. And like I said, hopefully that will build off of that going into next weekend. You know, and, and we get back into the league league uh, play. And, and we got a little bit of help from some teams with Bemidji the last uh, few weeks. So, um, you know, we got a, a tough Alaska Anchorage coming team, team in. But we've got some home games. And I'm really looking forward to getting home and getting some of them. So are we, Coach. We can't <laughs> wait to get home. And I know the fans can't wait to have us home, too. Well, I was, tell, I was telling the uh, NBC guys, and, uh, you know, seven home games, 19 away from the – and they couldn't believe it. They want to know who, sched who the schedule scheduler was so <laughs> as much as I love Paul Kurt too I can't wait to not be able to have to see him next weekend because we're on the road all the time we get to see Paul well yeah, I, I, you <laughs> know kidding. that's 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 not very nice to say about <laughs> only Paul, because he's standing right behind you no there. I know one of our biggest <laughs> fans it's always good to see Paul wherever we are yeah he's a great guy all right coach congratulations and Thanks, we can't sir. wait to get the uh, Mel Pearson show back in regular schedule rotation to Monday morning 10 o'clock yeah I don't know if we're going to be able to do that Monday morning oh, is that right so yeah so oh. can we do it Tuesday possibly oh, well, we, we can make an arrangement can we make sure. arrangements Tuesday yeah. so all the listeners uh, give me an extra day uh 
I'll probably be shoveling snow from uh, Sunday all the day, all through Monday to just, you know, been gone a couple of weeks. So yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's lots there. But, yeah, I've, I've got the commitment on Monday morning that I won't be back in town yet. So okay. uh, we'll look forward to doing it Tuesday. Sounds good. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations okay. on a big win. Okay, thanks, Dirk. That's Coach Mel Pearson here on Mix 93. And that's going to do it for the broadcast. The Huskies win it tonight 4-2 to two over the 12th-ranked Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And uh, they'll be back home next week and Friday and Saturday night. Tickets are available Go to buyhuskiestickets.com or call 487-2073. The Huskies win it tonight, 4-2. Good night, everybody.